he's just brutally honest. You know, he doesn't sidestep it like regular politicians. A Republican presidential hopeful makes a stop in the southern tier today in hopes of drumming up support money and votes before Tuesday's big primary. Good evening, everyone. I'm Daryl Kirkland Morgan. And I'm J.B. Buno. Thanks for joining us here on the Late Edition. Ron Paul may not be the Republican presidential frontrunner, but more than 4,400 people showed their support tonight at Cornell University. Supporters say it's not over until it's over, and they're hoping the longer he's in the race, the more his message can spread. The line stretched nearly a quarter of a mile, and some waited more than three hours to get in. For the thousands at Lino Rink, it was time well spent to see a man they believe in. He stands for liberty, and he stands for the Bill of Rights, and government that governs by its own rules. I think that people are looking for that. There should be no secrets in government, and the government should be there to protect your privacy. Protecting internet privacy is just one of the issues Ron Paul fans admire. Supporters say his stand on the Federal Reserves and ending the Patriot Act are just two platforms separating him from his Republican counterparts. I'm just a huge fan of Ron Paul, of his, um, his viewpoint on most of the issues in government, um, just corruption, loss of our liberties, the things that we give away every day. Ron Paul says it's ultimately the younger generation that's going to make the change in America. Congressman Paul says he's not going anywhere. The Republican hopeful says as long as the money keeps coming and the support keeps growing, he's in it till the end. Crowds are bigger than ever, so uh, that's that's one reason why we are going to continue. We think the message is powerful, and the votes haven't been counted, so we don't know exactly where we'll come in, but we're going to come in a lot better than anybody else believed. It ain't over till it's over. Ron Paul says he's not done yet. The 77-year-old libertarian-leaning Republican says support is coming from an unlikely source, young people. It seems like they're very open-minded and very receptive to the message of individual liberty and individual responsibility. But you might say, well, why didn't they do this 10, 15, or 20 years ago? Well, the country wasn't so poor. And I think this is one thing the young people have learned. The country is poor now, the Treasury is bare, and they're bearing the burden of the debt. There was no shortage of young supporters at today's fundraiser. Some even brought their parents. It's not a matter of age, it's a matter of principle. I think the social libertarianism is a, a big aspect. Um, young people especially just, they want the government off their back with things that they do with their personal lives. Mm. Um, and foreign policy is another big issue to a lot of young people. Uh, we want to see peace. We're tired of war. Paul says his supporters are shifting. Recently, we have, it's been recognized that our crowds are starting to change a little bit. Before, it was always 18 to 24. Now they're saying the older people, they're bringing their parents and their grandparents out. So that really pleases us, too. Less than a week before the New York primary, a Republican presidential hopeful makes his way to the Twin Tiers to gain support. Action News reporter Jenna Hancher joins us now to tell us more about Ron Paul's visit to Cornell University. So, Jenna, let me ask you, did he have a lot of support? Did he find a lot of support in Ithaca? Tons of support. Ron Paul had an overwhelming amount of support tonight. His campaign is reporting that about 4,400 people packed into the Lina um, rink on Cornell University's campus. But the question is, Dave, will tonight's crowds and applause be enough to help him win the New York primary and hopefully for him rather snag the Republican presidential nomination. Tonight the Texas congressman says he wants to take people to the future of liberty. The presidential hopeful is in favor of limited constitutional government citing among its other issues that the Patriot Act should be repealed because he says it is intrusive and unpatriotic. For the Republican told me tonight that he's not backing down anytime soon and his supporters are happy he's still in the running. I'm not making any rash predictions. I'm very pleased with our progress and uh, in many ways we're doing better than I expected and there, there's a lot of votes that haven't been counted and the delegates have really just going through the process so I'm cautiously optimistic on how well we do. Bringing back our liberties, bringing back our freedoms, you know, making our government smaller and less intrusive on, uh, you know, our personal liberties and freedom and the, to, to bring us back to prosperity. The New York State primary is just five days away on April 20th. Now, Jen, I think this all, his visit certainly begs the question. Ithaca's voter base, typically, historically, they vote Democrat, and yet 
thousands of people showed up tonight to see Ron Paul. Why do you Definitely. Think so? Some people may find it ironic, but Ron Paul actually has a lot of support from college students across That's the true. country. Ron Paul hasn't always been on the Republican ticket. He's ran as a libertarian several yeah. times, and many people I spoke with tonight say they don't see him as, you know, a Republican or a Democrat mm -hmm. or a libertarian. They just kind of identify with his issues and beliefs. Yeah, it's a good point. I think we've been seeing that all across the country as well. Definitely. All right. Thank you.